Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Queen Aja, she is strong for black women who wanna learn how to transform through fitness and travel. Today we're gonna talk about, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Green Chef. This is my last meal of three. It's called the Barat Spice Cusco Salad. I pray I say that right. Barat, B A. H A R A T. I looked it up on Google. It said Barat, but the way that it's spelled, it looks like it's Baharat. Anywho, it's a warm salad, and this is the vegan option I got because I'm plant based vegan. I've been plant based vegan now since February. I gave up meat for Lent. Yes! So, February, March, April, May, June, that's been over 120 days, and I feel amazing. Oh, wait a minute. My straps are showing. Oh, well, it is what it is. It's a fashion statement. Enjoy the journey. <laughs> Anywho, since I've been plant-based vegan, my clarity, energy, mood has improved for the positive. I'm enjoying it. And so today I made this warm salad. And what I'm liking, and excuse me for eating on camera. I know that's supposed to be rude, but... You know, I'm really sharing my experience, so I'm going to taste it. And what I'm liking about this salad, it has nuts in it, pine nuts. And I had to roast them. And I had to put some salad and some um, spices in it. It was two spices. Let me see. The Baharat Spice Blend and another, another seasoning. Z-A-A-T-A-R. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. It is what it is. I gave you the spelling of the word. I'm loving it. And it has radishes. And guess what I'm doing on my plant-based journey? I'm planting a garden. Uh-oh. Melvin is in. Come say hi to the people. I'm taping. Come on. He helped me in the garden. I was having me a baby boy moment. And this is the perfect time. Come say hi to the people. He shy. Daddy's home. Come say hi to the people. Come on. And tell them about your plant-based experience, about how you was vegan. Come on. Tell them how long you've been vegan and, and how you feel. Come, come, come. And I want you to taste this and, and tell me your honest feeling. I'm going to get out the sun, the light. Let me get the right. Ain't it cute, y'all? Stop. <laughs> I love my boo. All right, let me get, let me get the light is a glare. All right, let me. Mm, it's safe there. Let me do this. Okay, Come over this way. Yeah, let me put my head here. And then you go. Yeah, go ahead. How, how's your plant based been? Your experience? Two and weeks, how long? Two weeks. It was hard, but I got accustomed to it. Um, more energetic, less lethargic. Since I do two shifts a day. I He's need that energy man. to get up in the morning at 3, so it, it helped me out a lot. It was hard, but I got used to it. And that's it. Will you continue? Oh, yeah, I'm going to continue. <gasps> but I will have a cheat day. Okay. That's fair. Thank you. And can you tell us about your experience with the garden? Come on, Melvin. Oh, She got me up early in the morning. We had to go to Home Depot. I had to get bags and bags of dirt. I had to lift all that stuff. She got her seeds. She soaked them the night before. We laid the dirt down. She had some plants that she planted. Everything was organized the way she wanted it. And that's it. Today we watered the garden. Wasn't that a peaceful date? Yeah, we brought chairs and we sat outside. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. He's so helpful and supportive. Oh, my goodness. So, I was reminded while I was in the library about a book club I used to attend before the pandemic. And we read this book about habits, the power of a habit. And sure enough. I did what I know what to do. I wash my hair. All right, I'm going off topic. Let me get back on topic. That was the whole reason why I went plant-based because I had a stroke two years ago. So my focus and clarity, I'm getting back to the topic here where we're talking about. We done talked about the garden. We done talked about the, the, the 
meal prep and the green chef. But the main thing about this video is the green chef. So true transparency, the this is the third meal and it came two weeks ago, but I looked at the ingredients to see if they were gonna spoil and they didn't spoil. The only thing that did spoil that I couldn't use was the mint, but that was okay. Cause all I could do is just go to Red Berry, the farmer's market and get some mint. That was no problem. And what I love about this green chef, everything is by pictures. So you really can't mess this up. And I'm gonna do this um, recipe again on my own. And I love how they have everything individualized, chopped up. It comes to your door. And I use the same bag that it comes in. This is all of the garbage is right inside here. Now, the only thing challenge for me for, let me see, since 2016, we're now in 2023. So 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Seven years. I'm used to cooking, which is a habit, the power of a habit. So that all goes in together here. I am so used to cooking twice a week, three meals. That's what I'm used to doing, um, Sundays and Wednesdays. So that's why for two weeks, the last meal I didn't do. Because I'm not accustomed to cooking three days in a row. That's no, 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 no. I'm still on that former bodybuilding way of cooking. Every Sunday, every Wednesday. And on Sundays, I would get up, wash my hair. Again, the power of a habit. You become your habits. And even if it's a small little habit, they make such a great impact. It felt so good to do my own hair. That's the one thing this pandemic, the good one good thing that came out of this pandemic. I learned how to take care of my own hair and I learned how to cook and enjoy my home. Yes, thank you, thank you, Dad, thank you. And since I was doing this plant-based um, before, Booski, let me stop calling him Melvin Booski. The way that this green chef is made, designed for, it has increments that you could do it for two people. So, what I would do, since he wasn't eating the milk, I would eat, I would make two meals out of one meal. So instead of eat, giving him the milk, I would eat twice and just do two shakes, and then I was done. A shake in the morning, shake in the evening before I go to bed. And the green chef would be my lunch and dinner. And I'm really, really liking this warm salad because I'm pretty much a cold salad type of girl. But as long as the seasonings are right, when I'm learning about the plant base that I've been on for 120 days, I really, really enjoy it. And I really can taste the flavor. Like, after I finish this, I'm gonna have some corn because lately I've been craving corn on the cob. That is just so crazy. <laughs> and I found a vegan butter too. Cause that was the only thing I wasn't doing that wasn't vegan. Honey in my tea and butter. Those were my only two things and cheesecake. But I found a vegan cheesecake. Uh, shout out to Organic Grill in the NYC. Oh my God, that food is amazing. Thank you, Ashley, my pole coach, for telling me about them. Oh my God, I'm going to be, again, full transparency. One day, I had passed Popeye's going to the gym, and I got a a whiff of that chicken cooking. Cooking, I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Hmm. I got on the text, Ashley, where do you go to get your deep battered fried mushrooms because I have read in a book that if you eat the fried battered mushrooms they taste just like chicken or it can be a great substitute let me yeah it it's not gonna be exactly like it but it will it will give you that satisfying feeling so I had the um buffalo one buffalo season ones and the hot sauce <gasps> Oh my God, that was so good. I've already been back twice and I do plan to go tomorrow after the pole class and get me some vegan cheesecake as well. And the other day I had some vegan macaroni and cheese balls. Oh my God, that was so good. And the leftover cheese, I'm gonna put over some nachos because that's some vegan cheese. 
yeah so i'm enjoying this journey and, and my mood is so good and my hair flashes kind of like disappeared what are you, they went on pause because y'all know the only thing hot about me is um uh, my hot flashes what else y'all know when i get on this camera i just get to talking go all over the place around the merry-go-round <gasps> oh please click like share and subscribe ask me any questions about this topic this topic is about the last meal of the green chef please and thank you and if you want to work out with me follow me on instagram at queen ages she is strong okay that's what i forgot and i know i forgot something else and then i'll be like when i get off i'm like oh why didn't i share this with the queens the queen ages why but hey this is a one woman show and it is what it is i can only do what i can do and i just wanted to share um this food just look at it it's just so delicious oh and check out instagram for my um garden pictures i'm gonna post them today a little date night in the garden and i forgot to say while he was on camera it was so relaxing and peaceful the sun was sudden and i was making fun <laughs> I'm saying, you know, I'm having my baby boy moment. Oh, I can't believe that movie is over 20 years old. Oh, my God. But um, that movie so resonates with me. I love it. Love it. Anywho, stay strong and enjoy your plant-based vegan diet. Talk to you later. Bye.